They hit me! You live! You no die! Oh! Yes, yes. The Delta 13 are hard to kill, even without our augmentations. Welcome back, Mongoli Wing. This. He and Medibot have put you back together. Your body is working now. You can stand up and walk around a bit. Welcome in my lab, Gunnar Davis. Nice little lab, don't you think? Not as good as the one I used to have, but I can still do some serious work on cloning and implants. I even have a complete tool set for the power armor service here. We were doing a lot of research with Professor Wagner. I'm now trying to use the experimental results for practical solutions. From your simplified soldier's point of view, I can help you with your power armor and with your implants. Your body was already prepared for standard military implants, so inserting or exchanging implants should be simple. Most of the implants are designed to... Right now, I have a stock of some standard implants, but I should soon have... Gear? Ah... You mean the power armor. Good power armor must fit the user. You can't just pick up any piece and exchange it for what you're already wearing. I used to work with experimental power armor suits before I moved on to specialize on implants. We developed several revolutionary technologies to improve the human body. Then came the dead effect discovery. The progress was accelerated, but Wagner started to use the prototypes on himself. I think the side effects were the reason why he went mad. They tried to keep him sane, which made me a threat to his madness. I had to hide. The research took a long time. It was a shot in the dark at first. Fast cloning seemed like a discovery of the century. We found a way to quickly and efficiently create new human tissue of any type, but we couldn't make a whole functional human body. Then, Wagner found the way to jumpstart the bodies, to give them life, raising the dead. Wagner called it the dead effect. Wagner went mad, completely. He was paranoid and wanted to kill me. I hate to run and hide. I should have done that sooner, but I thought I could keep him sane, stop him from doing the worst. I failed. I'm rather limited here. I need access to some resources. I especially miss nanocrystals. The net uploaded the information to the map terminal. Check it there. Nanocrystals are computronium blocks. Smaller than most organic cells. They're actually the basis for the dead effect. If we get enough, I could make you some really impressive enhancements. So, Doc, can you tell me something about Danette? Oh, this is a rather sensitive question. She didn't tell you anything about herself? Just that she's another experiment. Is 
person. I do know a bit about her. But you will have to ask her yourself. Have you found any interesting parts for the suit? Everything all right? Felix said you've locked access to my abilities. Well, yes, of course I had to lock access. Your neural network's barely holding up, remember? If I left access fully unlocked, there might be interference and feedback loops with implants and equipment. If Felix will need it for some upgrade later, he can just ask me. And frankly, it might be better if he doesn't have full access to your brain without my supervision. Don't you think? I think we can trust him, but... Makes sense. You almost didn't make it. We didn't expect the soldiers there. You were shot up to pieces. But Minikin pulled you away and activated the jet lift. So what's your plan? We're in the middle of deep space, and there's a ton of soldiers around. I've blocked the comlinks in the ship. ESS Meridian is a giant colony ship. They're not going to find us easily without working locators. And we can start working on the takeover of the ship. You want to take over the whole goddamn ship? We were supposed to be a colonization mission, but a lot of things happened. The rest of the crew is trying to keep order and wait for the military ships that were sent from Earth. No way to talk the soldiers out of it? I'm afraid there's no way but to fight. They have strict orders, and they'll do their best. So they'll try to kill us together with other prototypes and various clones moving around the ship. When the relief squadron sent after us arrives, they'll clean the ship quickly. Dr. Yevgeny Bielik is a great surgeon and geneticist. I'm glad he decided to join us. His help could be invaluable. Soldiers have orders to arrest him, so I think we can trust him. We're still trying to heal all the damage on Minikin's brain, but he learned to live with it. He's got a workshop here and he's doing whatever he can. Talk to him. I'm currently focusing on improving our base. So I can just sit and rest? There's always something to do, looking for spares and other resources. Check the holo map. I've uploaded some of the things we need. should lead to the Nano Crystal Laboratory. The sensors are reporting activity in the area around the lab. I'll try to sneak around. 